All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining me here in the garage today. We're looking at EV chargers today. We have a really cool one from TechNet. They have a portable or a mobile EV charger. It's universal for all electric cars. So Teslas, all electric cars can use this one. Teslas are the only ones that need an adapter for it because it does have the J1772 handle. But this is a nice one to have in your car. Most electric car companies, when you buy a, a car, whether it is new or used, a lot of times they're not going to include the charging equipment. So sometimes you need the charging equipment to charge your car at home or on the road or whatever it is. This is something that you can buy. It's very affordable. Keep this in your car. You can keep it in your garage at all time. You can charge your car regardless of the type or the brand of car it is. So let me show you what you get with this kit here. So here's the, the kit here. So it's the TechNet EV charger. It's a 32 amp charger. So it's going to charge up to 32 amps. So you'll need at least a 40 amp breaker and outlet installed. It has the wired, this is called the NEMA 1450 plug. And it's like a dryer outlet that you'd have wired into your garage somewhere. And you'll be able to charge on that. This is going to give you the fastest speeds. If you do a 40 amp breaker, you can charge at 32 amps. You can charge it. 80% of the breaker rating is it has a long 25 foot cord so it can stretch really far it's got a nice display here that's going to show some of the stats you can change the amperage uh, you can do scheduled charging I'll show you how that works there's an app you can download you can connect via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and then this is the plug handle here so see it's the, this is the J1772 every company except Tesla uses this type of an outlet so uh, if you have a Tesla, you just need the, the the adapter. All the cars include that. That plugs on there. Otherwise, it just will plug right into your outlet and it'll charge. This is a level two charging, so it's going to charge, you know, meant for like overnight charging your car. It comes with a nice carrying bag, so you can store this in your car. Like if you're going on a road trip, you can take this with you. Like if the house you're staying at, if you're staying with friends, family, or uh, Airbnb house, for example, take this with you and you can plug in. The cool thing is this also includes the uh, 15 amp cord as well so we just simply plug into this and then you can just plug this into the regular all wall outlet a 15 amp you know 110 volt outlet this will trickle charge the car it's not going to charge that fast but at least will give you some some power into the car we have our instruction manual there's some hardware to install the brackets now the bracket this little holder here is going to hold our going to hold kind of this bracket on the wall this box on the wall and this one is for the plug so we could plug the, we could have the, the plug being held on the wall if you want to install that as well. This is my NEMA 1450. I, I had this installed when I first got my electric car, my Tesla, probably four or five years ago, and it's come in handy. Get this plug here, and it, it's going to be compatible with most most chargers, and you could use like this one here. You just so you just plug right in. It's just a an outlet we can plug right in. Uh, we get power here. It's just it's just showing our voltage, 245 volts. Uh, we got a, a lit up display here, and then you can see here we have this long charging cord. So let's download the app, and we'll be able to set some of the settings up in this. All right, in the instruction manual, it has the QR code. We can just scan that. All right, so the app is this uh, Smart Life. Uh, smart living. Actually, I already have this app. I have uh, some outdoor lights that are already hooked up to this kind of system here. So if we go into open the app, it's, gonna, it's asking us to add this uh, charger. It's already sensing the charger because it's plugged in. What we can do now, enter our Wi-Fi in. All right, we got it installed here. It's connected to my Wi-Fi. I have it opened. Uh, just a few things here. You can start the charging here. So you swipe right here to, to start the charging. Uh, there's a few charging modes. So there's real time where you just plug in and it starts charging or a de delayed charging mode. This is where you can delay the charging from like one to 12 hours. So let's say it's seven o'clock at night. You want to delay it till midnight. You can delay it five hours and it'll start charging after that. Here it's telling our voltage, the current amperage, the power that's been output. And there's some settings here. We can change the amperage level. So if we want to charge at the full 32 amps, we can, or we can adjust it down lower if we need to. All right, I have this bracket installed on the wall, and this is where this box can sit. So you can install this wherever you want. There's some nice hardware, some uh, screws and anchors. You can anchor this down on your wall. There's a cord coming out of here. This is where you plug into your outlet. And then we have total 25 feet of cord to be able to reach to the car. All right, so once it's plugged in into the wall, it's ready to go. Uh, we just need to put, so to charge this Tesla Model Y, I just need to put in my Tesla charging adapter, which it's easy to do. The adapter just clips onto the end here. 
So we've got our Tesla adapter on here. If you don't have a Tesla, this will charge all the other cars directly. And you can see we have a nice long cord. This will reach, really, uh, it could reach both sides of the garage bay here. So we just put our adapter in here. And we go, we'll go into the car. We'll just kind of see what kind of speeds we can get and how we can adjust that. While it's charging, we get a green flashing icon. And we're seeing here kind of our amperage, our total power output. And this also shows the charging. There's a, there's a clock showing how long it's been charging. All right, with this car, I can adjust the amperage of the, because the charger is on board on this car, I can adjust the amperage. So I can go up to, it already says max 32 amps. So it's allowing me to charge 32 amps. So it's reading that properly. I've got my charge level increased. I'm gonna go up to 80% 80, 80 here. Uh, one time charge. And we can kind of see our charge stats here. 22 miles in an hour at 32 amps, 240 volts. Uh, it's charging, charging really well. Here I'm trying out the charging plug adapter to go into the 15 amp outlet I have here. So you just hook this into the 1450 plug and you're able to charge. It's a lower amp, where it's not going to charge as fast. This is only a 15 amp outlet. So charging at about 12, 12 and a half amps. Right now it charges really slow, 110, 120 volts is what we're charging at. You see we're here in the car. Uh, anytime you're in the car though, it's gonna charge, it's gonna show a lower state of charge. It's gonna show lower, slower f charging speeds because the car's on, like the AC's on, uh, the fans are on. So, uh, but with just the regular charging cord, 15 amps, um, I'm only charging at 13 amps. This can go up to 16 amps, which I thought was interesting. So if that was a 20 amp outlet, I could charge at the full 16 amps and it'd go a little bit, uh, you know, go a little bit faster, but this one's only charging, you know, just a couple miles in an hour. It is a way to kind of trickle charge the battery, so that way, you know, if, you, if you're at someone's house, you need to charge, you can get, you know, you can get probably maybe two to four miles in an hour when the car's asleep and it's charging. And so, you know, maybe over the course of 10, 12 hours, you can get 40, 50 miles back to the battery. So it's not bad, it's at, least, at least you have that option with this. All right, guys, so I'm impressed with this charger. It's it's compact. It's easy to use. I like the, the nice cord length. 25 feet of cord length is nice. You can change the amperage really easily. It's got a nice app. The app's really easy to use. And this is an affordable option. I believe this is under $200. So most cars are not going to come with this kind of charging equipment at home that you're going to need. So this is a great option to have. And especially because it's a universal charger. So maybe if you have like a Tesla and a Ford or a GM or whatever the, the type of car you have, this can charge all of those different cars and then just you just need an adapter for the, the Teslas that you're charging. So a big shout out to TechNet for sending this for us to do a review on. Be sure to see the link down below. Guys, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.